All right, so here we go. Hello, and how are you? I am going to make this video um, today because I'm trying out some new different things, and um, <clears throat> currently I have a large painting drying on my easel, and I want to do some smaller paintings and doing a lot of drawings. I want to mix it up and such like that too. This little panel has a little bit of fuzz on it. Cut that off. Um, <clears throat> anyway, so I picked up some, some oil panels just to do some quick sketches and studies and such. And um, I have moved over here to my drawing and slash office work table to do some quick oil sketches. I um, had this little easel I picked up at a local craft store and a long time ago and um, used it for props and different kinds of things throughout the years and recently um, started using it actually as an, a little table easel. And it's worked, you know, in some of my other videos you may have seen it, it's worked pretty well for holding sketchbooks and thick objects and whatnot, but for small panels like this and doing this painting, it's not, I need the easel, but it's not going to work very good for me because it's hard to access the bottom down there. I'm not too thrilled with that, and I don't really like the shadow that my lighting is casting on it, but that's really not that big of a deal. I can still access back in there, or I can pull it off there and consider taping it or clipping it. That might be a good idea. I think I have a, a clip here somewhere, but I'll get to that. Um, <clears throat> anyway, my biggest thing is that I want to hold this down and so it doesn't move and I can access it and everything. It may seem a little bit much to you, but I want to go ahead and get something to rise this up. Ideally, um, you know, cut a piece of wood and put it in there, but that's just not time effective so and more cost effective this is an easy cheap way I have some card for board I am just going to cut it to fit and then um, probably put it in place I'll go when I once I get this cut I'll come back and um, show you the next step we're gonna go into doing it it's a nice little quick fix uh, because like I said I like it raised up when I have my canvases Normally they're thick and I can just set them on the edge, no problem, but with this little panel I can't really set it on this little tiny edge, so um, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to raise it up. So here we go. Let me measure this out and then cut. Alright, there we go. We have the two pieces put together. I decided to go ahead and glue them together so that if I wanted to, I'm not going to, I'm going to keep this around for future use um, in one of my drawers and I don't want to keep it with two pieces of cardboard so I went ahead and just glued them together that way or I might just leave it in there, who knows. But if, as you can see, it fits very snugly in there. Now everything is nice and flat and I can access the bottom of the panel without any issues. That took me less than, you know, uh, two minutes or more. Um, as you can tell, it's probably going to be a quick uh, time lapse. Um, I apologize for my messy desk. Um, I just keep my sketching stuff here when I sketched for, for access and I normally would put it up if I'm not using it, but I'm using it occasionally, and I'm also have got a uh, sketch thing tonight. Um, I do sketches, uh, uh, sorry, I do um, figure drawing on Tuesdays, and then tonight is a special sketch thing event locally that I'm going to, and I want to easily pack up all of my drawing stuff and go. Um, so I have this top piece, and I could you put it on here and you slide it down to lock the panel in place. Um, I thought about raising it up also, and which I, I may still do so that I can sit there. If I give it some sort of base to prop it down on, well, I mean, that, see, if I press too hard, that's eventually going to slip. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to build out from this thing and make this a little, oh, I'm sorry, you can't see on the camera, huh? Let me show you this right here. I could easily 
clamp it down on that little thing there and push down real hard. But with the can with the panel being so thin, it would just easily pop right off. So I'm going to build that little space up a little bit and give me more of a platform to, to put the panel on also. And um, that way I can access the full panel without any disruption. I could just tape it down, but I don't want it tape to interfere with the edges of the, of the um, board. I like going and, you know, I like the organic feel. I don't want to tape it down with a straight line and all that kind of fun stuff. So let me build this up and I'll see you back here in just a few minutes. I'm going to cut this to fill it up. I'm sure somebody out there has better suggestions, but right now in a pinch, this is what I'm going to do. Uh, I'll be back in just a few minutes or maybe less. It shouldn't take very long. Alright, we have this little piece fixed here. And I made it so that it came over the edge just to come up a bit. I didn't want to interfere with the tracking. And I really, since it's Elmer's glue, I think I'm going to probably glue it into place because I don't even like having that lip when I use it with my sketch pad. I don't even keep it on there. But this way I could keep it on there and hold like small sketch pads down and not have to worry about that little lip also. So I'm going to glue this just real quick one bit tape with a second. And it being Elmer's glue, it's not, you know, this is a little $5 easel. It's not going to break my soul too much if it, you know, just harms the easel in any way. I'm going to put a little bit more glue. Oh, I should probably clamp it, but I'm going to be pushing it down on the with the board, so. <coughs> Excuse me. There we go. Let's see how this works out. I think it's going to be just fine for my purposes. I, just like I said, I moved my painting over here to this area, and I'll show you what I'm going to do with my palette in just a few minutes, just to have a little portable painting space. Now, there's still a little shadow there. There's still a little shadow there, as you can see. Maybe not. There's still a little shadow there, but it's not so bad. And I can just clamp this down really tight. And now my board will not slip It'll be fine. Pull it out from the bottom a little bit. Get that. Push it down. Come down real hard. And tighten it up. Board is on there. I like that. All right. Let's just hope it works. If it falls, it's okay. It was just a you know cheap quick fix on a cheap little easel. No big deal. This is how I'm going to do my palette. I had gotten this glass from a friend of mine several years ago, and I work with a big, I'm sure you've seen from my other painting videos, I work with a um, big piece of glass that I had cut to fit a craftsman tool um, cart. And I painted the back of the glass, as I did with this, white. Um, cause I like, cause the canvas is white. If I worked with gray canvases, I would do that. Um, yeah, the, uh, glass causes a little bit of a, a tint to, uh, the, to the palette, but it's not that bad. Um, I actually really enjoy a glass palette. It keeps it clean, uh, and I'm able to, uh, clean it very easily and, um, or store my paints. Well, nicely. So this is the first time I've ever really used uh, this small little palette. And I'm looking forward to it. I have a little chair set beside me, and I'm going to set it up, and then I'm going to put my oils on it, and I'll be able to float around a little better in my studio and access some smaller paintings while larger ones are drying. 
uh, on the easel. I don't want to move it just yet. I can move it soon, eventually, though. Anyway, um, with this, though, it's perfect for these panels. My big easel would probably be too big, and I'd have to mount it somehow. And my ceiling is about 10 foot, maybe 11, 12. I don't know. No, not that high, but it's about 10 foot. And my easel is already touching the top of the of the um of the ceiling, so I'd be very hard put. I'd have to rig something up on my other easel also. So this is going to hopefully work out pretty good. I'm just going to bring my paints over here. They're right behind me. And I'm going to put this over here. And I'm going to do some oil sketching, and we'll see how this goes. Um thanks for watching, guys, as always, and um and in just a few minutes, I'm going to jump right into a uh, time-lapse oil painting. Uh, maybe I'll say a few words before that. But uh, like I said, I really appreciate you watching. And comment if you have any suggestions or if you enjoyed me talking and interacting with you and giving you a little bit of instruction on my cheap fixes, let me know. I really appreciate it. Everybody have a nice day. Thanks.